Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever this live stream finds you around the world, this is Lorraine Purcell. Welcome to Body Talk Friday. This is the day when we go into our 50 trillion cells and consult them as to what we need to restore and regenerate ourselves after a week of probably ignoring ourselves a lot, right? We get so busy and then we forget to tune in, we forget to relax, we forget to breathe deeply. So this is the time that we come back into ourselves. And while we're waiting for people to jump on, if you're watching the replays, please play, please post, comment, replay, and I will love knowing that you're here. Um, I do these because I need them. And I'm here with you every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. And the invitation is to put it as a recurring event on your calendar. Uh, we have people waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning on Pacific time to be here. We have people in Australia in the wee hours of the night showing up. So do it because this is the time for us to regulate our nervous systems and get ourselves back back on track. On Monday, Fairy Godmother Monday, we go into the quantum field of all possibilities together with my crystal ball and my magic wand and most likely my Mondo crystal. And we tune into the quantum field with your desire, which is from the Father. De Sire means of the Father. So we honor your desires by actually feeling them, experiencing them, which is actually the only way that universe hears our requests. Not our words, universe does not hear our words. Universe hears our feelings and says, oh, you want more of that, we'll give you more of that. Good morning, my sister, 5 a.m. <laughs> in California, bless you. So today we're talking about, oh, and just you know, a quick little thing about me, almost three decades as a marriage fam former marriage, family, and child counselor and certified life coach, current certified life coach, ongoing certified life coach. And um, yeah, so I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this for a long time. I've worked, countless, worked with countless people all over the world and now I'm taking it out here. So today we're talking about following the flow in business, following the flow in business. And primarily now I work with female entrepreneurs who tend to be empaths, who tend to be neurodivergent, who tend to be ADHD, who to hi Sean, who tend to have a big mission vision and it's you know challenging for them to get it out. So they're pushing, pushing, pushing. Sorry, I just got off my walk, so my hair is kind of askew. Um, pushing, pushing, pushing. And I've worked with women like this around the world who have had chronic fatigue syndrome, other uh, health compromising situations because they don't follow the flow in business. Rather, they're in the male model, which is do, 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 push, 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 push through it, shove, shove, shove. And uh, we can't sustain that. And men aren't even supposed to do that. They die in their 40s from doing that. And so I'm all about bringing us back from the edge, using feminine magnetism instead. And what I'm going to be talking about tonight, today with following the flow is exactly that using the feminine magnetism tools of how do we follow the flow with our business. So I'll tell you what I do for following the flow. I work probably very differently than most people. Actually on the human design, uh, whatever, human design, what do you call that? <laughs> well, when you're categorized, I'm the projector and I am not supposed to work. I can work in short spurts and that's it. And so I tend to take huge long breaks to get kind of like get my steam up, get my energy up, get myself regenerated. And then I, then I hit it hard. I, I will 
work, work, work in really concentrated spurts. For me, that's flow. For you, flow might be steady, regular, scheduled. I would croak with that. I would die of boredom. Artemia, good to see you. <laughs> yes, I am your fairy queen. <laughs> nice to see you, honey. So for me, that would never work. I would die of boredom. I would rebel. I would run for the hills if I had to do the same thing every single day. I have to really work with myself, like doing the celery juice every day. I, I rebel because I just am like, I'm not doing that every day. You know, I can do it for a while, but then I get mad at it. So that does not work for me. But you might be the person that does that, that does that really well. Before I go too deeply, let's start breathing in white light energy from the top of our head, the crown chakra, all the way down, all the way down. See this white light going in a counterclockwise spin, swirling all the way through your 50 trillion cells right now, all the way down to Mother Earth, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And then deposit all the refuse down into Mother Earth. She's the master composter. She knows exactly what to do with it. So let's do that again. Another deep breath. White light energy coming down from the top of your head. Swirling, swirling, swirling. Balancing left and right hemispheres of your brain. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Just see it kind of effervescing through your blood, through your organs, through your bones, through your marrow, through your muscles, through your skin all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Like it's just kissing it and it's blessing it all the way down. There you go, all the way down, all the way down. <clears throat> and then deposit it into Mother Earth. And then just tune into Mother Earth for your message. What is your message from Mother Earth? So when you attend these Monday and Friday, you are bookending your week. You're starting the week and you're ending the week. Good morning, Kathy. Starting the week and ending the week with us. And we bring you back into alignment with who you are, back into sync with who you are. So easy to lose ourselves, right? So easy to lose ourselves. So while I continue talking, go ahead and get your message from Mother Earth, drop it in the comments. I'm gonna take some celery juice. Mother Earth is telling me to relax. Relax and let flow. My message, Janice says, my method, message from Mother Earth is to stay centered, grounded, and have fun at work today. Love it. Sean, I'm sticking with being mellow and love. Love it, love it, love it. And we, those of you on the replay, do the prompts with us. Drop it in the comments. And um, the more you play along, the more you're gonna actually get from this as if you are in with us live. So following the flow in business is following your inspiration. It doesn't mean you don't have to do the shitty things. If you don't want to do the shitty things, you hire the shitty things out, which is what I do. But in the beginning, you're going to need to do them yourself. More than likely, you're going to need to do them yourselves, at least a good amount of them. So what is today, the 8th?
the eighth today. Hold on. Oh, my computer's not on. There we are. Uh, so it's following the inspiration. Your inspiration is your success blueprint. Thanks, Janine. Your inspiration is your success blueprint. It's not following someone else's. Thanks, Sean. It's not following someone else's. It's following your own success blueprint, which is your own inspiration. It makes sense, right? You are a being of light and you have a desire to create something, have a business of some sort. So it's going to follow your inspiration. And if something is not resonating, you know it's not right. So it's trusting and following that flow within yourself. Trusting and following that flow that is within yourself. <sighs> so now when you're ready, let's take this all, all this white light energy gathered at our feet and we're going to go in a counterclockwise spin back up our body and we're going to focus on the parts of our body that are maybe hurting, that have been trying to get our attention and we're maybe not hearing. So all the way up, all the way up, all the way up and just have it just swirl and swirl and swirl and swirl and deposit your intention. Deposit what it is that you desire. Deposit love into your, into your body and listen to what it's saying to you. What does your body need from you to restore and regenerate? What does your body need from you to restore and generate? <sighs> what does your body need from you to restore and regenerate? Listening, this is what we tend to forget to do, is listening to our bodies. <sighs> what does your body need from you? What does it want you to eat more of? What does it want you to eat less of? What does it want you to... <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, I love that, Kathy. Be extraordinary. So just tune in. And that's actually a very good point, Ronnie. Because I don't have this scripted and it's and it's not about me it's what's coming through and so uh i appreciate your comments because that just exemplifies what i do here which is it's not scripted it's not to entertain you it is for you to tune into yourself and just see what your own body is saying okay so it's not about me being the entertainer it's not about me being the person up here um trying to put on a good show or put on a perfect script because that's not that's not what this is about here this is about you turn tuning inside you and finding what's going on for you Ronnie so thank you for your comments and I send you many blessings So this is kind of like you bringing back all of the all of the the little birds that have flown all out this week. <laughs> that have just flown all out this week. You're calling them all back home to you. So, what does your body want you to eat more of, and what does your body want you to eat less of? And my body is really um, happy right now with how I'm eating and drinking. But tune in, your body might be saying, I want less processed foods. I want, 
uh, more water, more pure, more pure filtered water. What does your body need from you? And then tune in to what your body needs from you to restore and regenerate over the weekend. That's why I call this Body Talk Friday because that's the time that we turn back in to ourselves. <clears throat> and let's just send this beautiful balanced energy out to the entire planet. Our eight, bil eight billion brothers and sisters Love, 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 love this beautiful, balanced, still energy. We're just going to send it out to the entire, entire planet. <clears throat> yes, and see, what I do isn't for everybody, so I completely understand and then people like Ronnie come and then they go. Because <laughs> there's nothing here for them, right? Just love, love, love. Balanced energy, love and light to every of our 8 billion brothers and sisters. Love and light energy to every water molecule on the planet. Love and white light energy to every animal and every cell and every animal's body and every insect and every plant. And infusing every wall and every road and every ceiling in the whole planet Earth with love. And put your hands on your chest and just say, I say yes to me. 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 I always do the right thing. I always make the right decision. I follow my leading. So for more of my work, you can go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered and get my free brand new five minute meditation on how to overcome imposter syndrome so that you can step into your whole vision, the vision that is from the father and live your great big life. There's also the best affirmations that I've ever found in my almost 30 years of working with beautiful women around the world. And so you just go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash E-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D. And on Monday, Fairy Godmother Monday, we're going to be talking about your inner being and business. That's gonna be good your inner being and business, that thing that, that guides you and you can trust. Okay, thank you for joining me this morning and I'll see you Monday, if not before. Mwah! Sending you so much love. <laughs>